and business English is a very important topic. So I plan to do quite a few business English lessons. If you had a chance to watch, it's on my YouTube. That's fantastic. It's all about money and payment. Money and payment. So of course, money and payment are very important in business and of course you must know the words to conduct business especially money and especially payments so this lesson i will give you nouns and verbs and gerunds and phrases to help you discuss money and payment but as always i will connect this to the reality of our current lives, the reality of our situations, which is of course the pandemic. There is a pandemic, unfortunately, and the pandemic has changed the way we pay for things, the way we buy things, it has changed the way we sell things. So of course we need to also know the new vocabulary for the life we have today. So before, or to start our lesson, as always, we have a warm up, and my warm up is a speaking activity. That's a good chance to uh, start thinking in English and to speak in English. So let's see here. Um, I'll start with Mohammed. Mohammed, can you please? <clears throat> answer for the class question number one so how do you prefer paying for things cash card apple pay do you have a different app such as venmo or paypal how do you prefer paying for things mohammed um i prefer uh, paying for things uh, uh, in, ca in cash in cash in cash yes and uh, uh, also i uh, i use a credit card uh, to to pay uh, my bills okay okay you use a credit card do you pay online yes okay electricity so water and uh, telecommunication uh, Okay, so it's, you know, you make virtual payments. You pay your bills virtually online. Yes, we say virtually online. Well, uh, you can say, you can say virtually. You can say online, digitally. There, there are a few words. Yeah, pay. Um, yeah, okay, very good, Mohammed. Excellent job, Mohammed. Uh, Tanu. Tanu Khan, just to review, there were a number of different payment methods that people preferred. Some people prefer paying by cash, right? And cash is obviously paper, money. What's uh, the name for the small things that are circles made out of metal? Coins. coins. Coins, yeah. So, you know, paper money, uh, with, you also have coins, and you have bank notes. Bank notes, that just means paper money, cash. So a couple people still prefer paying by cash, paper money, coins, bank notes. Some people, of course, they prefer something different they prefer paying by card you know obviously your debit card or your credit card of course there are different kinds of cards you can have the ones that you swipe right they have a strip on the back and you swipe them swipe is a verb you have newer cards with a micro chip and you insert the micro chip insert is the verb 
you insert the chip into the machine and you have new cards. You have now contact less cards where you just tap over the machine and tap is a verb. Um, we also heard people talk about apps, new apps, Venmo, PayPal. I forgot the name of the Brazilian one that Cassia is using, but there are many different kinds of apps for payment now, right? And that's kind of the newest thing. But then we even have Apple Pay and Apple Wallet, which is basically your phone, your smartphone replaces your card and you can pay by putting your phone, uh, tapping your phone over the machine. So there's lots of different kinds of payment systems now. And of course, unfortunately, we have the coronavirus. And the coronavirus is changing the way that people and businesses pay for things. So it's very, very important to know the new vocabulary for payment. So once a week, I do a reading activity. This article is short. It will only take me two or three minutes to read it to you. And it's so important that you listen to me read the article because the article contains all of the vocabulary terms. So reading is a very good way of learning English. And when I read this article to you, you can see all of the vocabulary terms in context, which is really what form of currency have people stopped using as much? Question A. What form of currency have people stopped using as much? Question B. Do merchants typically prefer to receive payment by cash or card? And letter C, what is the new way to pay by card? So as I read, try to find the answers to these three questions. It's only about three minutes. And here is the article on your screen, which you can also find by clicking the link in the material if you want to revisit the reading article later. Okay, so I will read and you listen and then we will discuss the answers. So I'm on axios.com, uh, an article from June 29th in the economy and business section entitled, The Near Cashless Society Arrives. The Near Cashless Society Arrives. If you see a word you do not understand, that is okay. Please do not stop reading if you see a word that you don't understand. We can talk about difficult vocabulary later. Okay, here we go. People have suddenly stopped using money of the bill and coin variety for fear it may spread the virus. Some worried shopkeepers have stopped accepting it too. Why it matters. The coronavirus may have changed our buying and payment habits forever. Online shopping is through the roof and consumers are rushing to get contactless credit and debit cards, which are tapped at a merchant terminal rather than inserted or swiped. Driving the news. The coronavirus has made us scared to touch anything, and there's a perception that money is dirty and payment terminals carry germs. ATM use is down 32%, according to Visa, and 63% of consumers say they're using less cash. In places like South Korea, Banknotes have been disinfected and placed in quarantine. 
the decline of cash has been particularly pronounced in the UK, where an article in the Telegraph quoted a WHO official advising people to wash their hands after touching currency. Yes, but... Health experts say they consider it unlikely that cash is spreading COVID-19, though hand washing is always recommended. The backstory. In March, when many people started sheltering in place and retail locations closed in mass, there was a huge migration to virtual commerce. Merchants that hadn't been online race to put up web storefronts and consumers move the bulk of their shopping. It's just been like three years of digital commerce growth being pulled forward into three months. Brian Cole, head of North America Products and Solutions for Visa, tells Axios. People are making purchases that they would have made in person, but they're making them online now. The number of active Visa cards being used, e-commerce, jumped 30%. COVID-19 is pushing people into e-commerce who would not normally be using it. David Robertson, publisher of the authoritative card industry publication, The Nielsen Report, tells Axios, I mean, I have a 90-year-old friend who uses Instacart now. One practice that has grown common and isn't likely to go away. Paying for something on an app or a website, like a pair of pants or a pasta dinner, and picking it up in the store. Between the lines, the acceleration of e-commerce and card payments at the expense of cash is convenient for consumers and good for banks, who reap fees on transactions. But it can be bad for the merchants, who pay those fees and for low income people who lack bank accounts. Retailers have been in litigation with credit card networks for decades over the swipe fees they owe whenever a consumer pays by card. The fees vary widely depending on the type of card and the size of the merchant, but can typically be two to 2.5% of a transaction. Despite the growing cost of handling cash, bringing it to the bank, etc. I think most merchants, especially small merchants and small transaction merchants, would still prefer to take cash. Craig Wildfang of the law firm Robbins Kaplan's, who represents, lar who represents retailers in an ongoing lawsuit over swipe fees, tells Axios. The catch. Not everyone has access to credit or debit cards, especially low-income people. Retailers like Sweetgreen have tried going entirely cashless, only to see pushback from advocates for the poor. The city of Philadelphia now has a law requiring all stores to accept cash. People who rely on tips also suffer when currency isn't in wide use. Uh, David Gells of the New York Times discovered this when he experimented with living cash free and found himself guiltily stiffing his barber and a hotel valet out of a tip. The next big thing, contactless cards. They're pervasive in Europe and elsewhere and just starting to hit the US in a big way. And for the first time, consumers are demanding them. People who use Apple Pay and Samsung Pay on their phones have gotten accustomed to paying with a wave. The credit card networks have always promoted electronic payments as faster and more efficient. And now with COVID-19, they're promoting them as cleaner and healthier. Burger King ran a recent commercial in which it touted its contactless payment option. The bottom line, as bad as things have gotten, life during COVID-19 would have been much worse for so many people without the ability to buy goods online and have them delivered, notes Linda Kirkpatrick, MasterCard's president of the U.S. issuers. I can't imagine if this happened 55 years ago before our network was created, she tells Axios, we would have been in a very different place. What form of currency have people stopped using as much? 
Can anybody help me formulate an answer to that? Can anybody, if you like to speak, don't hesitate, just uh, what form of currency have people stopped using as much? I think that is the cash. Yeah, cash, paper, money, bills, yeah. and coins. Okay, now can you make a sentence, Gerardo, trying to use the same language as the question? Do you know what I, I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, well, so maybe like... The people, people have stopped using cash? Yeah, people have stopped using cash as much as they used to. So many people are avoiding cash. They don't want to touch it because they think it can transmit coronavirus. Although experts say that is unlikely. Experts are not sure that cash is spreading the virus. So do merchants typically prefer to receive payment by cash or card? How do merchants prefer to receive payment? Or how do most merchants prefer to? Does anybody? Um, I think the merchants uh, want to receive payment by uh, car or, or cash. Yeah, and which, which one specifically is mentioned in the article? Um, I think they prefer uh, receive the payment by car because they uh, win a, a little uh, percentage of, of re revenues, I don't know. Oh, so let's look back. Well, there are fees. There are fees, right? When a customer pays by cash, there is a fee of 2 to 2.5%. Who pays the fee? Who pays this fee? Uh, the bank. The bank pays. The bank. Ah, no. The Not bank. The customer, really. The bank profits off the fee. Who pays this fee typically? The customer. Can somebody help Hasiel? Who using who using cards? Well, typically the article says that merchants pay those fees right typically it's the merchant the merchant is the business the seller who is selling is the merchant so if i want to sell you something it's not free to to take your debit card payment you can't just give me your debit card and i magically get money from your debit card i need a machine or i need an app or i need a system to receive payment for you and i have to pay for that right so those fees are paid by the merchant the shopkeeper the business owner the seller right the banks reap the fees the banks receive those fees because the banks create the system to take the payment right so it's the merchant who pays the fees and because the merchant pays the fees most merchants would still prefer to take cash so Thank you for volunteering to answer, Hasiel. I prefer, all right, I appreciate that. So, right, so merchants are the sellers, right? The business owners, shopkeepers, etc. And merchants still prefer taking payment by cash. You know, there's many ways to answer that question. 
Um, notice I do use the gerund. If you came last week to class, you'll remember the lesson on gerunds, but they do. They still prefer taking payments by cash. And of course, that's because there's less fees for the merchant and uh, maybe they don't tell the government <laughs> about the money they made. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, maybe they can try to avoid taxes. But anyways, anyway. Um, what is the new, the new way to pay by card? So, you know, chips, there's something even more new than paying with your chip, than inserting a chip. Did anybody remember what's the new way? And we talked about it already in class today. Does anybody want to try to answer for the class? Somebody, how about uh, Spring? You have not answered for this one yet. Do you mm -hmm. remember the new way, Spring? Uh, no. Does any, how about you, Mohammed? I don't remember. It's okay. Uh, I have no idea. No worries. Does anybody, or Jessica, do you remember? I had, uh, I had a little idea, but I don't know if um, I'm well. It's I okay, think. it's okay. Don't, don't worry, if no, you're wrong, no. No, no problem. I think it's tapping. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were talking about that verb, tapping, infinitive, to tap. This is, so remember that swiping, let me get my, let me, uh, let me get my debit card quick so I can show you. This word that means no touching. What is the word that means no touching that, that you don't, what was that word that they kept saying? You saw it in the article, you heard it in the video. What is this, uh, the word that they used for no touching? Starts with a C. Contactless? Yeah, contactless. And of course, if you understand prefixes, suffixes, obviously contact means touch, right? C-O-N is with, tact, that root word means touching, right? Like touching, right? So, um, and then, of course, less means without. So contact is touch, less without. Contact less without touching. So that's the word here, contactless. And yes, that is the new way to pay. The new way to pay is contactless payments. So you can do it with your card. There were two other devices in that video. What were the two other kinds of devices? Did it, you can just say if you remember. Do you remember what else did they have here? Let's see. Gerardo, do you remember the other methods for payment? Mm. Here it is. Here's one. No. <laughs> what does she have in her okay. hand? A cell phone? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Uh, Smartphone. Okay. Yeah. So you don't even need your you don't even oh. need a, a, a card you can put this same technology in your phone. And actually there was one more thing in this video. What was it? Oh, here it is. What is Watch. she pay, how, What is she paying by? Watch. Yeah, she's paying by her watch. And the watch, we call this wearables wearable something you can wear this is also a vocabulary term from a couple of weeks ago so this is really the future of payment and people are stopping using cash as much 
They don't want to touch cash anymore because they're scared of the virus. They want contactless payment and this new tapping method that you can do with your card or you can do it with your phone. This is becoming very, very popular all over. So, um, does any speaking activity? Um, is virtual commerce widespread in your country? Of course, virtual commerce. We're talking about online shopping. We also say e-commerce. We also say there's other phrases, but online shopping, virtual commerce, e-commerce means shopping and buying things online. So let me start with you, Mohammed. Uh, is virtual commerce widespread in your country? No, uh, virtual commerce uh, is not uh, widespread in, uh, in my country. Not yet? Not yet, yes. Okay, good. Good answer, Mohammed. How about you, Gerardo? Gerardo, is virtual commerce widespread in your country? Yes. Yes, I think that the virtual commerce is growing in my, co in my country because it's more, it's, it's, it's easier 